Tomorrow, people across the globe will roll up their sleeves to help save the planet in honor of Earth Day, whether that's planting a tree or cleaning up the neighborhood. Yeah, but one local community is going green together. Joy Benedict takes us to the first in the nation microgrid community. Blue skies and sunshine have always been an asset in Southern California, but now these rays are bringing an added value for homeowners in one neighborhood. We're very confident on, on saving on the, the energy bills. Erin Perez is one of the first to move into a microgrid community in Minifee, the first in the nation. They're not having like a, you know, a huge electric bill, and then obviously it's a smart home, so everything is super automated and, you know, user friendly. It's a new project by KB Homes. 219 plots in its Shadow Mountain community that, if disconnected from SoCal Edison, can run on a solar powered community battery. In front of the house is the last of our uh, bedrooms here. Scott Hansen is the VP of Forward Planning. So, what a microgrid is, is the ability for a battery to operate separate from a utility a number of lots. If you want to think of it like an island of power until itself. Every home is built with solar panels and a battery. We actually have two batteries here, one and two, and this is the inverter that converts the solar electricity to household power. The homeowner can then decide to use the solar energy to run their house or keep the battery full and use the utility company's power. But what makes this subdivision unique is that all the homes will also connect to a giant battery the size of a shipping container. So any extra sunshine will be stored there for an emergency and if full can power this neighborhood for days. When California at large has a need, you'll have the rolling brownout um, that is is common everywhere in California, um, but not here. The idea started two years ago with a federal grant and joint partnership between UC Irvine, KB Homes, SoCal Edison, and SunPower. How do we provide reliability to our customers? How do we provide them with a product that we know that no matter what happens, our lights are on, our homes are still fully functional. And that's how the microgrid was born. Some of the other features that you'll see in this particular home is all of the appliances in the kitchen are electric. But it's not just the power, it's how it's used to make this community shine. With special insulation, vehicle charging stations, and state-of-the-art appliances, this home is all about being energy efficient. Typically about 40% in savings is what you would see compared to a home that was built, say, 10, 15 years ago. Today, only a handful of these houses are lived in, and the community battery isn't hooked up yet, as the first phase was just finished a few weeks ago. But the idea of what's to come is exciting. Having our own solar grid here and having just that that security of not having it um, have any blackouts, it's very important. As is going green. And homeowners like Perez say being a little less dependent on big utility has him feeling home free. Joy Benedict, KCAL News. And tomorrow we're airing a half hour Earth Day special called On the Dot with David Schechter on KCAL News at 3 p.m. and CBS LA at 4.30. You can also watch it streaming on CBS News Los Angeles Saturday and Sunday at 11 a.m. and 4.30 p.m.